Hi everyone, my name is Amin and I'm back with another video for our reporting project. I know it's been a while since I last published a video, but trust me, like everybody else, I've gone through some tough situations trying to deal with the new standard which is work from home and isolation that we've probably all experienced to some extent as a result of COVID-19. But now that I'm accustomed to the whole situation and have better ergonomics, I thought it was already time to go back to my unfinished business. I received a comment on the previous video about a problem with GoMock. Apparently, some of you guys have had problems with generating mocks. I mentioned in the previous video that you have to install GoMock binary as we're using it to generate mocks inside our make file, which in turn uses GoGenerate. So what we actually need is the executable for mock gen in our path so that we can use it from the command line. Now, I know it's tricky to get the installation right, especially if you just want to quickly test things out and follow the steps in the video. So the goal for this video is to make the process of generating mocks solid and simple for, let's say, the new developers who join our team and want to get started right away. And for that to happen, we'll be using Docker, so make sure you have it installed. Also, you should already have basic familiarity with Docker and know how to use it for day-to-day -day work. Head over to hop.docker.com and search for Golang. Docker pull Golang will install the latest version, but we wouldn't want to do that. We want to be specific. So go to the Tags tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. We can actually double check on Go's website. I don't want to use Go 1.15 yet because it's new and I haven't used it at all. So it might break things for us. So let's stick to the previous stable version, which is Go 1.14.7. And that's the Docker image tag that we want to pull. So let's go ahead and do it right now. I've actually already pulled it, so it's not going to do anything in my case. To double check, we can run this command. And yes, we have it. The next step that we'll do is writing a simple Docker file specifically for generating mocks and place it at the root of our project. Using Docker Emit we just pulled, let's install the mock gen. Copy pasted from GitHub repo. It's always a good idea to pin it to a particular version so we have stable build pipelines as is suggested also in the repo. Setting our active working directory. Finally, entry point which specifies the command that is run after a container is created using the image. Now we have the Docker file, but we haven't created the image yet. Let's do that next using make five rules. I'll add build mockgen rule, which using the mockgen Docker file creates an image for the sole purpose of generating mocks. Notice I'm using the porting mockgen tag to make it easier to access the image. This is specifically useful if you have a ton of Docker images already pulled onto your local machine. Actually, let's also change generate mock to mockgen to have consistency with other parts. I like it better this way. This is the part that actually generate the mockgen mock files by creating containers from the image we built just above. And I'm using volume mounts to sync between to sync files between my machine and the container. Again, I assume you're already familiar with these concepts. If not, let me know in the comments section. Maybe I will make a video for learning basic Docker scales. Running make mockgen. 
we can confirm that yes it works That brings us to the end of this video where we made generating mock files a breeze. I try to ma make videos more regularly from now on. Please share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below so that I can also find out about my mistakes and learn from you amazing people out there. Have a nice one folks.